Hello y'all, welcome to 2021. I'm Joanna and this is my first vlog for this year. I wanted to give you kind of a rundown of what my plan is to do for this vlog and tell you what I've been doing to prepare myself for this coming year. So my vlog is basically going to be on gardening and homesteading. I plan on sending out a video every Tuesday and as things kind of pick up right now being winter time there's not a whole lot going on that um, as things pick up I might be able to put two videos out it just kind of depend on where my content is but Tuesdays you should be able to find me here and so <clears throat> this coming year um, will be my first I want to say like real good garden um, I have gardened for like the last six years um, in different ways, gar uh, container gardening, gardening in the ground. I've never done more than a couple different vegetables and um, fruit, and I've never had like a massive amount of produce come from it. This year I have high hopes. Um, if you follow my Instagram page, which I will link below, I have listed all the seeds that I plan on planting this coming year. Here's my box, which I will show you a little bit more of that later with all my seeds. And it's going to be quite a large garden this year. I'm hopeful to have a lot of produce coming from it. And I decided this year to start my own business to where you can buy starts from me. You can also buy produce from me. And then I'm going to be saving seeds from my garden this year to start selling next year. My biggest purpose in doing that is I wanted a local option to have all those needs of heirloom varieties in specific. And I was having a hard time finding that. Um, there was maybe a couple local nurseries that had one or two heirloom varieties. Most people had no idea what I was talking about. And they were like, I have no idea where you could find that. And I just had a very hard time getting that information. So I wanted a local place for myself and I decided I'm just gonna have to be that local place and that's where I'm starting out my business I do have all heirloom varieties and I will be gardening all organic and I will do another video kind of explaining more what heirloom varieties are and why they interest me and why I'm being so specific about heirloom only I will say there might be a time or two there's something that's not heirloom in my garden good chance I'm probably not going to sell it because I want to be very specific that you can come to me for heirloom varieties anyhow so to move on here's my process that I've been doing so far <clears throat> to get myself prepared for this coming year it's gonna be a big year I have never done it before and I'm trying to sell my stuff and so I've been doing a ton of research and watching a lot of videos reading a lot of books and I, in doing that, have my trusty notebook that I write down everything that I'm listening to. I am not real organized. I just have this notebook with me as I'm watching videos um, and I will just jot down information. From there, I then have an Excel spreadsheet that I get more organized in. At the bottom of my Excel spreadsheet, I have all the um, vegetables and fruits, you know, calendula, tomatoes, corn, green beans, sugar peas, etc. When I write something down in my notebook specific to that vegetable, I will write it in my, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Anyhow, so I have my Excel spreadsheet and when it comes time to actually start planting, if I'm doing tomatoes, I can go to my tomato tab and down there I have written down what varieties I have, whether they're cherry tomatoes, slicer tomatoes, paste tomatoes, how many I want to plant of each tomato, when I need to plant them, what kind of recipes I plan on using them for canning, anything related to tomatoes of notes that I have written down in my notebook are going on the Excel spreadsheet. And then I've just recently started to get a little more organized in when I want to plant what and how many. So I actually have one cell spreadsheet just for that. Up top, I have each month right now and what I would like to plant within that month. And then below, I have written out to all my different varieties of everything. <laughs> Every seed packet I have in that box, I have on this Excel spreadsheet. 
and how many from each seed packet I want to plant. So, yeah, I'm getting a lot more organized through my Excel spreadsheet to make it more streamlined when it comes time to actually plant. I know I'm gonna be super busy when that time comes around and then when produce starts rolling in, I just wanna make sure I have the time now to just go ahead and get very organized in that way. I will say being my first year, I will know after this year if this is a good process or not, but it's working out well for me. I've also been listening to a lot of podcasts and other vlogs and just reading different books to gain as much information as I can to prepare myself for this growing year. Then I have my seeds. I have bought all the seeds <laughs> that I'm going to buy. I keep saying that and then I keep buying more seeds, but I really don't want to overwhelm myself too much this year. One thing I want to make sure I'm doing, especially because I have been advertising that I'm going to be selling, I want to sell good produce. I want to sell good starts. I want to sell good seeds. And so if I overwhelm myself by doing too much, it's going to leave a lot of room for error. So I'm going to focus in on what I have in this box. And if I want to do new stuff next year, I can do that next year. So this is why I have all my herbs and this has all my flowers. And then for my vegetables and fruits, I divide them up into Ziploc bags. So this is okra, tomatoes, rutabagas, peppers, etc. I have them each in their own Ziploc bag so that when I go out to plant, if I'm planting tomatoes, I can grab my Ziploc bag and go out. I have seen a lot of better um, ways to organize your seeds. Again, this year, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do. This is my first year way that I'm going to do my seeds and I can move into those better organizational ways next year and in the years following. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the process that I've been doing over the last few months and I will continue to do it, continue to do in the next few months before real planting starts, gaining knowledge, reading, listening, writing down, organizing. That's where I'm at right now. I will say that I have decided to do some winter sewing. For those of you who do not know what that is, I will link below from Garden Answer. She's one that I've been following who does it, as well as, I can't remember her name. I know it's Cheryl, can't remember the last name. She also has a Facebook group and she has done several videos on winter sewing as well that I have been following. Again, I will link those below. But I will be starting to do that this week, actually. I just need to go get myself some dirt, some potting soil. But um, that's what I'm gonna be working on this week is preparing some jugs for that and getting them started. I need a lot more milk jugs, so I'm not gonna to get too far this week, but I'm hoping to get more jugs here pretty soon for that. But, so some planting is gonna be started this week. I will post a video on how I'm doing that. And yeah, so that's where I'm at for right now. Again, I said at the beginning of my video, I plan on throwing out content at least every Tuesday. You might get another video through the week here and there. It just kinda of depends on what my week looks like. Hopefully this summer, my goal is to do a video of like a garden tour and then a video showing what I'm doing with my produce. So that would be different canning videos, different recipes, how I'm cooking them in my kitchen. To make it more relevant, that's something that's important to me. I don't just want to garden. I want to know how to use them to feed my family. So I'll be doing videos on that as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope y'all are having a great new year so far and I will see you later.